If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn that how you can find the equation of ellipse if you are given with the foci, the value, uh, the coordinates of the foci and the length of the minor axis. It's basically a three-step process. If you just follow those three steps, it will be easier for you to find the equation if you will be given with these two elements of the ellipse so we'll start with the step number one as so we have to find the major axis first now there are three things that you can help you out in order to find the major axis number one is foci if the foci or the coordinates of the foci are given number two is the vertices and number three is the co-vertices of the ellipse so if any of these three are given you can easily find the major axis so in our question we are given with the foci so we can easily check we can easily decide what is the major axis here how now keep one thing in mind that if foci lies on x-axis its y coordinate will be zero so let's check the foci that we are given with whether its y coordinate is zero or not so yes, its y coordinate is 0. It means the foci lies on the x axis. And if its x coordinate is 0, it means the foci lies on y axis. The axis on which the foci lies is actually the major x. So what we have deduced from here that major axis is x axis. Why? Because foci lies on x axis. So that's why we, uh, we have got the major axis as x axis. If the foci lies on y axis, we have the x coordinate as 0. But so in our in the question given we have the foci with y coordinate zero so um, that's why we have to decide it as the major axis is x axis so once you have found the major axis you have to move towards the step number two what is the step number two in which you have to find which standard equation of ellipse you have to use now once we have got the major axis then on the basis of the major axis we have to decide which standard equation of ellipse is to be used now as it is clear from the uh, from all the um, uh, from the uh, from the given elements of the ellipse that the center of ellipse is zero as we have the foci having the elements plus minus three and zero so it means we have the we have to use the standard equation of ellipse that is not shifted that is the uh, equation of ellipse with center zero zero so keep this in mind that we have to use the equation of ellipse with center 0 and 0. Center is 0 and 0. So which equation of ellipse is to be used? Let's first write the equation of ellipse that we have. There are two standard equation of ellipse based on the location of the focus where it is. If it's on x-axis, we have different equation and if it's y on y-axis, we have different equation. So the equations are x square over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1. This is one equation uh, in which the focus lies on x-axis. Another is x square divided by b square plus y square over a square equals to 1. So in both in one case we have this is case 1 is when x-axis is major axis. And this in, in this case we have y-axis as major axis. And in both the cases keep this in mind a will always be greater than 1. And uh, a will always be greater than b. So wherever the, wherever the location of a will be the major axis will be the same, it will be that one. So here, as we have A in the denominator of X, X axis will be the major axis. Here we have A in the denominator of Y, so Y axis will be major axis. In step number one, we have seen that foci lies on X axis. It means we have to use which equation of, or standard equation of ellipse? We have to use this standard equation of ellipse in which we have the, uh, uh, we have the major axis is x axis so we have decided that this equation of ellipse is to be used now in order to use this ellipse we have to find a and b as well in order to put it in this equation and find the equation of ellipse so let's move towards the step number three so step number three is we have to find a and b for the step number two in order to put the value of a and b in, in the equation this is if i'll say this is equation one so we have to put the value of a and b in equation one for now what is a and b a is length of semi major axis and what is b b is the length of semi minor axis. so we have to find a and b now what is a and what is b we have given in the question as length of the minor axis as 10 so we can use this value as as we know that length of minor axis is equals to 2b so at, what is given is length of minor axis is 10 so we have to equate, equate it as 10 is equals to 2b and b will be equals to then 5 it means length of the minor axis is equals to 5 that is b is equals to 5 now 
we have to find the value of a from b and c now what is c c is basically the units of foci here it is clear from from the question that the units of foci are 3 so it means c is equals to 3 so we have to use b and c in order to find a by using the focal length formula focal length formula is we have already der derived it as well in our previous lecture it is c square is equals to a square minus b square so put the value of so we will first we will rearrange it so that we will get a on one side a square is equals to b square plus c square now put the value of b and c here it is b and here it is c so b is 5 square plus c is 3 square so what we will get is a square is equals to 34 a square is equal to 34 we have to take the square root on both sides to get a so a is equals to under root 34 so we have got the value of a as well as b in order to put it into the equation number one now the final step is just to put these values into the equation number one put a and b in equation one to get the equa required equation of ellipse with the elements of ellipse with the values of the elements of the ellipse that is given so let's put it into the equation as so x square over under root 34 plus y square over b square is b is what 5 so i'll take the square like this equals to 1 and if i further simplify it as x square over 34 plus y square over 25 equals to 1 so this is the required equation of ellipse based on the foci given in the equation and the length of the minor axis thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.